a little while back I did a reaction video for Chalk Outlines and I said at the time and I still stand by this that it was my favorite Ren track I've heard to date even if it is a collaboration and my mate has been banging on to me ever since that I need to listen to How To Be Me, the live version. And I've been purposely holding back. It's been in the back of my mind and on the back burner. And then a couple of days ago, I got a message from someone named Geraldine who'd said, it blows chalk outlines out of the water. And I thought, bloody hell, that is quite some statement. So that's what I'm going to listen to tonight. It's How To Be Me, the live version from Ren and Chinchilla. This is genuinely my first time listening to this track. So if you don't mind, I'm not going to pause it in sections and talk over it. I might talk a little bit throughout it, but I'm just going to try and take it in now. And then I'll do some assessment and give some thoughts at the end, if that's cool with you. It sounds so great together, beautiful together, just a cappella. Oh, hair standing up on the back of my neck. Gorgeous guitar tone. Don't feel safe in this bed there are voices in my head i've been talking to the dead and the fear baptized me my kingdom turned to dust and i watched all my riches rust have i lost the mightest touch or do sad Eyes blind me Over and over we go Over the hills and the valleys below Oh, and it follows me, follows me home And it suffocates me Sorry, I'm not laughing at that line there. I like their pause and stuttering. Nice purposeful pause there as well to align with the lyrics. It's very clever. Is I forgot how to be me. I'm assuming these lyrics are Ren's based on his past experiences. Sounds almost dreamlike. It's it's stunning. It's stunning. I don't feel safe in these holes. There are bruises on the walls. There are bodies in the floors, and they breathe so loudly. I wish I could move, get up and walk right out this tomb. Do our saviors die too soon For my sins surround me Over and over we go Over the hills and the valleys below Always below Nice call and response there Follows me, follows me And it suffocates me I'd love to hear her uh, I can't breathe I said oh I can't breathe All I know Is I forgot how to be me Hallelujah Where is my God? Where are you? Hallelujah Jeff Buckley influences are coming out of here.
how to be me When he gave up the fight A quick decision lay in the night That stayed with me for all of my life I miss you so What am I supposed to say? Um, I really want to come out with something articulate and profound and some sort of detailed assessment and analysis. But honestly, I don't think I can do it justice. That was just incredible. It blew me away. Lyrically, vocally, emotionally, hairs up on the back of my neck and my arms throughout. I can't imagine what the guy has been through and is going through. It's it's a tough listen, a very tough listen. Um, but it's stunning. It's beautiful. Um, I honestly, sorry. I, I know I'm supposed to be reacting and, and giving my thoughts, but I can't. I genuinely can't put into words what I just witnessed. Shit, man. <laughs> I'll reiterate what I said during the track. I'd love to hear a collaborative album between the two, maybe even some sort of concept album. I think it'd be fantastic. Um, as performers, they're both incredible to watch. You're transfixed on both of them. Um, they play from the heart. They sing from the heart. Lyrically, they're very open and talk about extremely difficult subjects which is why so many people are endeared and connected to them. Sorry, people, I'm genuinely lost for words. It was almost like being in a dream for four and a half minutes. It was quite surreal. Personally, I prefer Ren's stripped back acoustic tracks such as this um, because I think you pay a lot more attention to the vocals and the lyrics of the song because there's less chaos and conflicting sounds and textures within it so you really are able to absorb yourself in the uh, emotion of the song i think both ren and chinchilla respectively are incredible artists and the future of uk music and i was fortunate enough to see chinchilla live um, not that long ago in hoxton square and admittedly i believe she played how to be me at some point in the set but i'd had a few shandies so i don't actually remember it and I'm sure, like so many of you out there, we all want to see Ren perform live, assuming that he's healthy enough to do so, of course. I think it would be incredible. I think the tickets will get sold out in seconds because we're all eagerly waiting and anticipating his return to the live music scene. The thing about Ren's music, and this is by no means a criticism, it's emotionally draining. It's not something you can listen to over and over and over again. In my opinion, um, you almost have to step away and absorb it, come back another day or a week and then listen to it again because it's so powerful. Ren fans are an amazing bunch of people. I've witnessed that in some of the comments I've received on previous Ren reaction videos I've made. People that are extremely open-minded and loyal. He's got this incredible community that he's building of like-minded individuals uh, from all walks of lives and different age groups, which is astonishing to see. People that are or were disillusioned with new music and they somehow stumbled upon him and it's given them new hope and I can completely relate to that. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering on. I thought that track was gorgeous. So please let me know in the comment section below what you think and I'll be sure to read and respond to every single one of you. As always, thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed it, please hit that like button and if you want to see some more, then why not subscribe? Until next time, look after yourselves and hopefully I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.